I was talking about that fucking sick bull, Mike Myers, tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, there's a... There was a retarded guy that we grew up with, <laughs> and uh, and because this is this dude. is this is a very common phrase. Can you stop idea. and give homage to his name, Mike Myers? I know. Dude. First of all, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I said it tonight. I was like, talk about a fucking red flag, dude. Ree, ree. Watch out for Michael Myers, the retarded guy who hangs out at the high school games. But uh, <laughs> this is like before I was in high school. I was just there because my older siblings played. Or, uh. like, I would go watch the football games. There was always a retarded guy named Michael Myers who would go to every game. And he would, he would keep his distance, but he would talk to the young kids. Okay, you know what I mean. Like he was kind of playful. Well, and that's a that's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, in exactly. The sense. Exactly. He's just a damaged fucking. Because you want to be like, get away from him, Shane. Well, yeah, but we were kids, and he had the mind of a kid, so we would fucking like talk to him and fuck with him, and like. How you do you know, think he found out about the basketball games? I think he lived near my high school. I mean, dude, think about, imagine if you were a retarded person, you lived near high school, you're just chilling, you know. Yeah. All of a sudden you got a season and a team to follow? Well, it's, it's not even sick. that, not even that. Imagine if you're just chilling, you're, you're retarded, and then, <laughs> like, like, literally, put yourself in that mentality. Yeah. And then one day you're just walking around, you're taking your walk, and then you just walk into a gymnasium full of people, and they're yeah. like playing a game, you'd be like this. And there's a concession stand. This is the best. <laughs> 50 cent M&Ms, and you're like, holy fuck. Like, that must be mind-boggling. Yeah. It must be like going to the Emmys. Just cheerleaders. Ooh. And also, you're retarded, so you're not really worried about uh, statutory rape. You're seeing those cheerleaders, and you're like, that's the most beautiful girl in the whole world. <laughs> it's, it must be Shit. like going to a high school. <laughs> Jesus, I'm not doing well. <laughs> well, it must be like, like Great Gatsby at his party. When you like a retarded person, like a JV girls basketball game, you probably walk in it's like, dun, 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 dun. you're like, this is all for me, dude. Oh, for sure. The he moms the are giving you fucking hot dogs. You, everybody's help. Everybody's your friend. Everybody's. They're like, hey, let him go out on the court at halftime and try to shoot. At half. Oh my god. He did God. that before. He tried to shoot a half court shot, dude. Uh, but Frank Furter's on the house. My favorite Michael Myers memory was one time because Trinity, my high school. <laughs> Michael Myers, dude. He, somebody, they, the way they would play the national anthem before games is they just had a fucking tape recorder that you would just press play yeah. on. And it would play like a shitty version of the national anthem. <laughs> For some reason, the tape recorder wasn't working. And this is like a, a, a entirely empty gym. It's like a girls basketball game. Mm. And Michael Myers is just standing at the top of the stands. And he just started belting out singing the national anthem. He probably stomped the tape. And reporter. no one stopped. Of course no not. one was like, This is weird. Everyone was just like, All right, this is our national anthem now. Just retarded Mike Myers up in the top of the stands. Well, that's in the Constitution. If a retarded person if, sings. If ye old retarded person of the village yep. starts singing the national anthem, you gotta put Even your hat. Kaepernick would fucking stand up, dude. He'd be like, That's that's powerful. That's America right it, there. Fuck yeah. Anyway, that but, would be um, a funny that would be a good way around. If, if so, if they really wanted him to like not oh, kneel. Yeah. He start bringing out the Michael Myers is dude. Yeah, like, you're really gonna kneel right yep. now. Bro? Bring out a black Michael Myers. Whew. Have him try to sing. Should bring out Beetlejuice. Dude. Bring out Beetlejuice. Dude. <laughs> 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 I've been watching Beetlejuice highlights every night for the last two weeks. Uh, so anyway, Michael Myers. One time though, this is I. I think I was in like eighth grade or ninth grade. Yeah. I think it was eighth grade. I was, I was like starting to figure out what the fuck was going on. Like this guy, something's wrong. Yeah. Because this was still like early in a, like if you're a retarded old guy in town, no one cared. No one was like trying to like when he was young, no one tried to help him. You know what I mean? Like he was a retarded guy in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. In like 1980. True. Like there was not a strong special ed class. Everyone was just like. That's Mike. He's fucking dumb. Yeah, you got... Yeah, yeah. And then he grew up, didn't have a job. They were just like... He lives with his parents. Yeah, that makes sense. He's fucked up. Uh, and then <laughs> he tried to tell us to come out to his car. He was like, you guys want to come out to my car? And we were like... He drove? Ah. I, I think he was just trying to rape us, but <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely trying to fuck us. He was like, you guys come out to my car. I got a... And I remember, he was like, I got a bunch of Nerf footballs out in my car. And it was like, I don't know, Mike. I think I shouldn't do that. And he was like, like ah. a fun car. He was like, oh, come on, dude. Come out. He he wasn't like, f he was fucked up, but he wasn't full retard. Like, he was. Well, he, he was still, cunning enough to set that good that nerf trap for you guys. He was trying to persuade us with some nerf. 
he's like, come on, I have tons of nerve out in the car. Come on, guys. And he thought we were, I think he thought we were younger than we were. He could have got us. What? He might have fucked some kids. He, dude, I mean, with that approach, that's a strong that's a fucking, fucking pitch. Dude, if I was a, if I was a fifth grader, and he was I mean, hitting me with talking, that nerf. Like nerf guns, he's nerf talking balls. whistlers, dude. He's talking. Ooh, you can the launch vortex, that ball. That's the vortex, yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> Instead, he's gonna launch a fucking whistler into your butt, dude. dude. A weird, retarded amount of cum going into your fucking. <laughs> kid this mouth. might be the worst thing I think we've ever right, discussed. So, no, 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 no. I'm not done. My thing is that imagine the moment of regret when he gets those claws on you, dude. You're 11 years old. Fucking old Mike Myers, dude, has you buy the Subaru hatchback. There's not a nerf in sight, and he just overpowers you. You're like, Mike, Mike, oh, no, no. Mike. <laughs> come on, Mike. God damn it. Fuck. You know, like the summer when you just got, like start smelling the grass? You're like smelling the grass and like the rained on like dirt, and you're just like, that's all you remember is Mike Myers, dude, just ripping off your leaves and <laughs> getting you. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> and ironically, in the distance, someone throws a vortex whistler. Yeah, dude, it's like you hear. <laughs> that's all you hear. Damn, Mike Myers. God, that'd be brutal. Also, if he he's, had got he, you guys. He's <sighs> definitely dead. He is definitely dead. Whatever dude, he had was someone fucking caught him one yeah, in the someone yard. Beat him to fucking death. He tried to fucking nerf some boys. <laughs> yeah, also, we let it go. Like yeah, no one fucking sense. ratted him out. We were just like, that's dude, weird. A long time ago, that was like it was. I mean, I'm going off anecdotal evidence, but it was like there was child molesters back in the day. We, I talked to one. They were just funny. I talked to Mike Myers. They used to be called funny guys. The that guys, was... he's up to funny business. Don't go around him. Yeah. There was Uncle Eddie was like the urban legend around us. And it was this guy who would just like walk around and buy little boys' underwears. They used to say he walked around with a pizza box guy. full of yeah, underwear. I heard about this guy. I knew a guy. I worked with a guy. Who he was like a drug addict, but he used to go. He was like telling me how he used to go to this guy's <laughs> house in Upper Darby, and this guy would take pictures of you in your underwear. <laughs> and he would be like, "Dude, it's fifty bucks." And he'd be like, "I never did it." I'm like, "You definitely did it." <laughs> my dad, my dad got <laughs> fucked up and told us a story like that. Oh no! And he had a buddy. He had a buddy that kept coming back with like, because they had a weird guy in their neighborhood uh-huh. who would do something eerily similar to taking pictures with you. I forget what it was. I think it was you had to let him touch your dick. What? I think it was full on like if if he if you let him touch your dick, he'll give you stuff. And Fair they trade. had one friend that was like totally unfazed by the sexual assault and just kept showing up with like new shit and cool shit. And they're like, "What are you doing, dude?" He's like, "This guy he keeps fucking buying me shit." And they're like, "Don't you have to let him touch your dick?" He's like, "Yeah, who gives a fuck?" Dude? Oh my just god! Just some tar guy. He's grabbing my dick. I mean, and dude. they just let it go. Wild. Anyway, anyway, uh, that's Mike fucking... Myers. Mike Myers' origin story. This is my that's favorite his thing. dad, dude. Michael Myers' dad. Yeah, probably, the guy who was painting, grabbing that, dicks. That was from less than three miles from that high school. He's probably paying like thirty-five cents a bird grab. He was probably giving you. A, he was giving you like a Snickers bar for one bird grab, and the, like if if you're a kid who's totally unfazed by that, that's a fucking deal. Yeah, it's a steal. It's like actually. just some fucking retarded guy grabs your bird for a second. He might yank hard though. Who cares? That might hurt when you're a young boy. You can you can take some damage down there. That's true. You can get hit in the nuts and be Actually, like, "That's no, nothing." You probably grow a little too if you got a you got a guy. He's getting jelked by a retarded guy. He's getting jelked by a retarded guy down by the Gen bay. One Mike Myers pulling you out, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's he strange. probably gained at least an extra inch. Yep. Wow. It, what's really funny is that guy definitely got older and was like, "Jesus, fuck, what was I doing?" <laughs> like, well, yeah, he's the probably... kid that was letting that old guy fucking touch his dick. He he grew up and was just like, "Whoa." I mean, dude, Woe was right. He probably has weird sexual shit now that he's like, like if yeah, he like, where did this come from? Like, imagine if he had like his kid volunteer to the Special Olympics and he went there and was just raging the whole time, just oh. a full fucking hard oh. on. Speaking of uh, funny stories of my one uncle, uh, when he was in summer camp, yeah, he the counselor was like, "All right, everybody, let's play a game," and they he was like, "The game is, it's like put mustard on the wiener." Or like what? roast the weenie or something like that. Something about a hot dog. Uh-huh. But it was it was my uncle's dick. And it was like, we got to put mustard on his dick. Wait. Like a string of mustard, a line of mustard needs to be on his dick. Oh, time out. This counselor was a fucking perv. And, and he put his dick into a hot dog bun? No, and he was saying my uncle's dick needed to get the mustard on it. So like the game was we got to catch him and tackle him and put mustard on his dick. And my uncle said he remembers like running through the woods and like all his friends chasing him. 
<laughs> what? Yeah, seriously. That's a guy from Nebraska in like the fucking 60s. <laughs> Who was trying to put mustard on his dick? The counselor. All right, so there's one kid. Yeah. The victim. Yeah, okay, okay. The victim. All right. And the pervert was like, hey, kids, the let's counselor. all play a game. Yes. So let's say he has 15 Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts. <sighs> She's like, hey, we're all going to chase, I almost said his name, and yeah. put mustard on his dick. That's the game. And the kids went after him. And the do kids it. joined. His friends were like, this is a fun game. There's nothing weird about this. But uh, he was like, I remember being like, this is fucked up. This is wrong. Did he get mustard on his no, dick? No, he ran. He got away? He ran, yeah. What do you run, home? Yeah. Dude, he was, he was Forrest Gump. He played football in Nebraska, survived the World Trade Center. <laughs> what the fuck animal. did they do? Did his parents go to the camp? I don't think anyone cared. I think back then it was like... Again, it was like, that camp, dude, that, that camp weird. Just weird. Anyway, so I haven't gotten to the Michael Myers origin story. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why everyone was like, Michael Myers is retarded... And you gotta just let him go. He's just a retarded guy. Let him go. Was because the the idea was that he got in a car accident and his mom was the driver, and her head got cut off and landed on his lap, <laughs> and he went retarded from that. And everyone was just everyone believed it. So he was basically like Hodor. He got his yeah. Mom, the one his day he just got like he just got was, cursed. It was like yeah. Hodor. Yeah. He was like Nerf. Ball. Nerf. <laughs> Nerf. <laughs> just trying to fuck kids. But it, it's just, I never thought about it until tonight when I was talking about it. And it was like, Jesus Christ. I'm, I think I think parents were on that. I think, like, the community agreed the reason he was retarded was a head fell onto his lap and he, he got retarded. I mean, that's a better story than if he just was a retarded kid who watched his mom get decapitated. <laughs> he was retarded the whole time. Like he was retarded the whole what time. What if his mom did get decapitated? I, I, she might have gotten decapitated. And he was a retarded kid who caught his mother's head and was like, no. <laughs> Oh my God. That doesn't get worse he than that. He tried to put it back on. Oh God! Like, You'll be better. No, no. Oh, this isn't funny, dude. This is the, 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 people are going right. to stop listening to the cast. All right, that actually, was Chupacabras, funny. retarded guys. I thought you're saying. I thought you're saying he put his mother on his own head. Yeah. <laughs> like, now I'm double smart. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm going to trick all the kids. <laughs> hey, you kids want Nerf balls? <laughs> I can drive now. Yeah. Oh, he just plows God. into another car. <laughs> Takes their heads off. That's funny. <laughs> Final every, destination is every, just a retarded guy. <laughs> it's all these freak beheadings. Oh, every accident in Mechanicsburg ends in a decapitation. <laughs> <laughs>